Thanks for joining us. I'm Stacey Skryzak. And I'm Dawn Sterling. One central Illinois community is now looking to address the issue of homelessness with a new housing development. News Channel 20's Monique Davis is working for you with how one man is expanding his services to help those in need. Monique. I sat down with Windsor Homes developer Mike Niehaus, and he said over 180 people are homeless in Jacksonville, and he's working to combat this crisis. The housing development is set to be placed on Tendick Street. To be considered eligible, individuals must be classified as homeless, at risk of homelessness, or attempting to flee domestic violence. Niehaus is able to complete this project with funding from the City of Jacksonville, the County, and Blue Cross Blue Shield. Niehaus wanted to make sure make the housing description very clear. It's not a um, homeless shelter. It's not transitional housing. This is permanent supportive housing for people to live in who need a little help along the way. Niehaus said he is hoping to have the project completed by the fall of 2026. Reporting in studio, I'm Monique Davis. Thanks, Monique. Mike Nihas has is also partnering with the Fifth Street Renaissance of Springfield to complete that project. Now, this comes as the issue of homelessness was front and center in Springfield. Dozens of people have spoken out about an effort to ban camping on public properties. However, the ordinance was pulled during this week's committee hearing. In a statement from Mayor Misty Busher and Alderwoman Lakeisha Purchase, they said that their concerns raised by the community and advocacy groups led to the decision to withdraw draw the proposal. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.